We spend a lot of time in front of our computers, so the way we sit at our desk can greatly affect our health. Good ergonomics doesn't have to be expensive or difficult, but there's definitely a lot of myths and misinformation that can make it confusing. Hi, I'm David, and here are five ways you're probably sitting incorrectly at your desk. Don't sit up straight. Sitting up perfectly straight might look like the most professional and ergonomic posture, and it definitely feels okay at the beginning, but over long periods of time, a straight vertical posture puts a lot of unnecessary strain directly on your spine as you try to hold yourself up. Try locking your chair in a reclined position to have the back of your chair help support part of your body weight. Even a slight tilt can make a huge difference to your comfort over a long period of time. Don't adjust the height of your chair based on your legs and feet. The first thing most of us do when we get a new office chair is adjust the seat height so our feet are firmly planted on the floor. While this isn't completely incorrect, for a computer setup, you should actually adjust the seat height depending on where your keyboard and mouse are. Most desks aren't adjustable, and keyboard trays are becoming increasingly rare. This means in most setups, you can't move how high or low your keyboard and mouse are going to be, so they're pretty much fixed accessories that should dictate your seat height. Put your seat too low, and your arms will pinch the edge of the desk. Put your seat too high, and you'll end up bending your wrists or slouching. When at the proper height with your elbows by your side, your forearms and hands should be perfectly in line to work with your keyboard and mouse. After that's done, if you find your legs are too short to reach the floor, then you should get a footrest or anything to help support your feet. Don't use desks with built-in drawers. Desks with built-in drawers might look great and be convenient for quickly storing away your trinkets and accessories, but they can prevent you from sitting correctly at your desk. If you followed the last step of setting your chair height and arms correctly, you might now notice that your arms and legs aren't that far apart. You only really have a couple of inches of space to work with here. So desks that have extremely thick tops, usually the ones with drawers in the middle, might physically prevent you from setting it all up correctly without banging your knees into the desk. Don't use wrist rests. The ideal way to have your arms when operating a keyboard and mouse is to float them over your desk rather than rest them on the surface. While this works for short bursts of time, your arms will probably start to fatigue if you try to do this for too long. So what most of us will do will rest our wrists on the desk or use a wrist rest. The problem is now you're putting a lot of pressure on your wrists where you have sensitive nerves and exposed veins for blood flow. Instead, when you use these accessories, they should be used to support the palms of your hands, not your wrists. Your palms are less sensitive to the pressure of holding up your arms and will help keep the rest of your arm in line. The goal here is to try to keep your arms and wrists in line and avoid creating any uncomfortable pressure points on your wrists. Or alternatively, I enjoy using low profile keyboards so I can support my entire arm on the desk and still keep everything in line. Standing isn't good for you. And finally, standing desks are getting pretty popular these days. The problem is standing all day isn't any better than sitting all day long. The unhealthiest part of working at our desk is the fact that we're stationary for extremely long periods of time. What's more important is to change it up as frequently as possible. Move your footrest around, change the recline on your chair, stand up for a bit if you can, or just walk away from the desk to grab some water. So those are five ways you've probably been working incorrectly at your desk but are pretty easy to fix for a more ergonomic experience. And having a good chair that matches your body is also pretty important as well. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know what to do and I'll see you in the next video.